If that works without the uh, cardboard and the mulch, that's ideal. That's the easiest. Hey, good morning, buddy. My favorite shirt. I'm filming the learning video. You think he'll be all right on my back? You think, think he's in a mood to behave? I think he will. <laughs> no? Don't go yet. Hold on. Gideon, where's Donald? Uh-oh. I don't know if he's going to behave or not. Hey, I'm not leaving. I'm not going to go. I'll put you on my back now. I think I will. You will. Gideon. Can you say Donald? No. So I like to do my learning videos in the morning when the chiddlers are asleep because it's quiet and it's really good lighting. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, we're doing a bit on, well, it'll, it's coming out today. It's, uh, it's a bit on why feeding vegetarian feed to chickens is not a good idea. You've seen those store, you've seen those labels in the store. You know, those big bold ladle, labels, proud to be vegetarian fed, not a good idea. Go check out that video. I hope the rest of it turns out with... <laughs> with <laughs> Are you going to behave for me? I hope the rest of it turns out and we beat the sun before it comes out and gets really harsh. Uh oh, you dropped your toy. Okay, I think what we've got to do is keep him in toy. Here you go. Oh, you want the other one. Okay, if you want to carry that dump truck around while on my back, power to you, buddy. Okay. And somehow i got to introduce him. Right in the middle of the instructional video because he wasn't there and then now he is and everybody's going to be looking at Mr. Brown. So go check out that video. Leave the link in the description. Well guys, I'm done. Check out my aftermath. <laughs> the mess I get to clean up. Crush, egg cartons, drawings to illustrate a point. Some of the animal protein examples. I had some soldier grubs grown in some old feed in a feed up thing I had. That was very interesting. And then, you know, some milk and some uh, meat scraps I had. Mr. Brown, though, he didn't last too long. I mean, he behaved. We went out and got a shot out in the cow field, and uh, he behaved for that. But as soon as we came back, he wanted to go back inside. Oh, well, let's go check on everybody. What is going on here? We're driving off of 10 vehicles. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna continue broad forking this garden area where the chickens were. We got a guest coming. Drew, you guys remember Drew? It's his third time coming. Guess I haven't worked him hard enough. Keeps coming. We got, I gotta get him on this broad fork. Hopefully he shows up soon before I get it all done. Just one row alone took me 20 minutes. Drew, where are you at? You're like uh, 45 minutes late. Oh look, speaking of the devil. Hey Drew, you're like 44 minutes late. I'm sorry. Okay, you know what that means? <laughs> For every minute you're late to the hauler, you have to run up that dam <laughs> one time. No way. No yeah. way. Yeah, you better hurry. <laughs> oh, Grandma's here. Hey. All right, what are you planting? I brought the goods. I've got a hosta. Nice. I've got some day lilies that are ready to bloom. And even over here are a lot of tubers that are day lilies. Very I mean, nice. Uh, not day Daffodil. Very nice. Yeah, you can't come I planted your without own. plants. Exactly. Drew, where's your plants? <laughs> Right here. Yeah. There's daffodils there in the ground. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, hey, Becca. How you doing? Good to see you again. What are you going to do? Oh, are you helping? Good. Okay. Okay, Chiddlers. Let's go put him on the dam duty. Hey, you want to come? Okay, Drew. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this dam is massive. You ready for this? Oh, you gonna do it with a chiddler? <laughs> we were both late. Okay, so you both She's have to. She's responsible too. Oh, you are. 
Becca, it's your fault they're late. She's just looking at me. <laughs> no, being all cute. Okay. Daddy. All right, Drew. Get set, go. What? Drew, Drew, the last one. Don't get, don't want out on me. 44. Hey, well, I bet you'll never be late again. Never again. Well, check out the view, buddy. Take a minute. Catch your breath. It's worth it. Look at the holler. That's our house right there. There's where we're gonna do the garden today. Now you're nice and warmed up for the garden work. Okay, Drew, around here, just so you know, we're on Lombardi time. You know what that is? No. Well, do you know who Vince Lombardi is? Football player? Yeah, well, the football coach, player. Okay. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> so engaged with well, football, okay. can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, you named it. Okay, you knew football something. Now, listen, that's not what matters. What matters is when Lombardi said, show up at three o'clock, you know what he really meant? 2.55. 2.45. Lombardi <laughs> time, Drew. Okay, Drew, have you ever used a broad fork? No, but I've watched people try on, on, on a blog. <laughs> people, I, I see what you're saying. I see. We'll see you, how you good say my you balance think I'm is. Trying? Okay, all right. Well, we'll see you. you we'll see you, good big guy. Start, start right here, Drew. No, you always, you always dig. You always stand in front of the dig. You understand? Stand on the other side. Yeah, there you go. Stand where you haven't done yet. Because you don't want to compact the finished good. Oh. Good idea, man. Just the initial. You got to go further than that. If you can. Yeah, there you go. Go back and forth. Rock back and forth. Yeah, there you go. From one foot to the other. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Look at that, man. Good job. Go all the way down to your waist. No, nope. go all the way down to your waist. There you go. Perfect. You got this, buddy. Okay, I'm going to go have some tea. <laughs> I think that's good. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah? I think I'm going to run an experiment down there. Okay. I think I'm going to do one row, nothing, no cardboard or nothing. Okay. And one row with the cardboard around the plants. Okay. Does that sound like a good experiment? That does sound good. Coming along nice. Yeah. Not, yeah, it is. We still have these. We're gonna put some daffodils in the front area. Cool. That'll be very nice. I know, courtesy of grandma. Okay, see behind me, this is the chicken garden, crop garden. And the chickens were in here before, and then we just cast out seeds. See, we have some squashes here. We do have some lettuce that's gonna make it for sure, but a lot of it's not. The weeds are gonna beat it out. And that's okay, because we'll harvest some. I mean, how much do we need? And the chickens will get all the rest of it, including a lot of these weeds. So it's gonna be better that we're gonna transplant into this garden transplants, okay? They're not starting from seeds, so they're gonna get a huge head start of the weeds. Ideally, that, that would be hopefully all that we have to do. But we're gonna run an experiment. We're gonna do one row without just transplanting. No cardboard, no mulch, no nothing. We're gonna do another row where we're, we're gonna plant our plants and then just put some cardboard and mulch around the plants and see what happens. If that works without the uh, cardboard and the mulch, that's ideal, that's the easiest. Move the chickens out, transplant plants, and then just come back when, it, when it's time to harvest. Okay, we've got our first row planted. This row right here, that's gonna be the one without any cardboard or mulch. This row over, we're gonna give plenty of room, like five feet. And then I think I'm gonna under sow some uh, buckwheat in between that. This was once 
a compost run, so it's got a lot of compost residue in here, and uh, it had mulch, and that's broke down a lot. So this is actually some really rich stuff. Okay, I got the cardboard down. Man, I really hope this works. I'm gonna count on it working for the rest, because this is crazy. This is a big difference, isn't it, Drew? The cardboard gets blown away. Got a whole mulch over here. So there's one, lo there's one load of, uh, <laughs> of mulch. That wasn't that bad. So it's only gonna be like three or four loads, so. It's not as bad as I was thinking at first. Thank you. You're welcome. I knew you needed it. Gonna water it down. Get the breaking down process going. Get the, get the plants nice and strong from the stress from moving. Now I gotta do one more thing to these plants we transplanted out here. Remember, nature abhors. She hates a bare ground. She's like, she's modest. She likes to always be covered up. I'm gonna go down between these rows and throw down some buckwheat. I've had huge success for that. The chickens love it. It's a good cover crop. Rebuilds the soil. 